Hello, I'm Lupe Serna. Hi, my name is Teresa Serna. And we both um, are graduates from Marquette class of 2019. Um, I actually started in the College of Education. So I graduated as an elementary teacher. Um, and I am currently working as a second grade bilingual teacher at Alba School, um, which is an MPS school down in the south side of Milwaukee. I studied social welfare and justice and Spanish, and I am now uh, finishing up a two-year program with the Masters of Social Work program at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Being able to attend an event like the scholarship gala is just so, um, it, it just fills your heart with a lot of warmth and a lot of like acceptance, I think. And that's probably the most significant thing about it is just knowing that, you know, even though there's a couple of people out there who may not believe in your ability to attend college or graduate even, there's a room full of people that do believe in you and want to continue to come every year and support you and show you that you deserve a seat in that classroom. Maybe they specifically did not know me, um, but they were there for the cause. Um, and they were showing that they did believe that undocumented students should have that opportunity to um, study and to continue their education, which a lot of people grow up not, not thinking in that because you, you hear so many times that you can't do it, that you start believing it. And that was something that I had to continuously remind myself throughout college as I was sitting in, the, um, in a full like lecture, um, was like, why am I here? Like, I feel like I'm not, like the professor doesn't see me or like the professor maybe like might not like know me um, or believe in me. And then seeing those professors show up to the gala and see that they reserved a spot at a table and that they made their donations and they were there to listen to stories and they were like open-minded and willing to, to just hear you out. It just meant so much more. I felt so much more comfortable after that walking into a classroom knowing that my professor knew about my story and that she believed, or he or she believed in me um, and was willing to like go out of their way just to kind of make sure that I um, kept succeeding um, and made it through college. I think that's the reason why this um, this scholarship is just so important. It, like we were mentioning earlier, it's a reminder to future generations that there is hope and that it is possible. Back at home, like we, we are the first generations, we're also like um, the oldest um, among our like our cousins, uh, and just to be able to like bring them to campus uh, and like have them like run around. I remember they were running around here once when we were um, taking care of them between our classes and everything. And it was just amazing for them to feel like go home and tell their parents like, I went to college today. And them running across the hallways with their backpacker outside. Like I have, I see those videos still. And just, I would never in a million years have imagined um, that at like three years old, someone would be like some like a Hispanic, um, a Hispanic child from undocumented parents or from immigrant families would be seen on a campus like that. And now they have that and they've seen it and they grow up like they were four or five years old. They grew up knowing that it was possible. And now like they, they see that future um, coming closer and closer and, and they, whether it's Marquette, whether it's another university, like they, they want to go to college. I know this year the event doesn't look as, um, how it usually does. I We all know that it's different, but it doesn't lose its significance and it doesn't lose its importance. A lot of people might think, oh, well, it's just, you know, a donation or a small donation isn't going to make a difference. But, you know, we know as students that it wasn't one person who donated. It was hundreds of people that donated. And to know that hundreds of people believe in a cause like this and believe in you and your success means so much more than um, one donation does. We're called dreamers um, and there's, there is like so much dreaming going on um, behind undocumented students, but we also need help. And knowing that people invested, because I see it as an investment into my future, it pushed me so much more to work hard every day um, and just dedicate myself to my studies so that the money, you know, um, that people decided to give to, the, to that scholarship, to my scholarship, to my education, my life, like it didn't go unnoticed. Every day that I woke up, every time that I stepped into the classroom, it was because um, I was able to be in that situation due to um, finances. And I cannot 
I cannot um, put into words how thankful I am for that.